Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to, to compare three programming languages, which are GoLang, Node.js, and Python. The specific task is to create a Discord bot using all three of them for the same function. It will be exactly doing the same thing, which is to connect uh, your Discord with uh, Google's Gemini API. So when you ask a question to the bot, the bot will fetch the Google's uh, Gemini API and uh, return the answer to you. It's a very, very simple API calling. And uh, I have created uh, three of them, as you can see, right on my screen, I created uh, three directory and uh, within each I created a called a bot using the corresponding languages so for example this one is uh, using the golem so this one is the golem I will not go over the details but I will include those in my media articles feel free to go over there to take a look if you are interested at I think this, this one is the Golan and this one is the Node.js. I use this, uh, I use the, the Discord.js package, which is a very popular package for Discord development. The third one is the Python bot. So, so this one is the Python one. Yeah, I feel like the Python one is very, very easy to read, whereas the other two is kind of a little bit uh, verbose. This one, this one is the Golem. So Golem has about uh, 115. Bot.js, the Node.js, like uh, 54. And the Python one has uh, only need a 33 line of code. Okay, so basically they are all doing the same thing. And uh, I also used uh, the program management software called PM2 to launch them. So let's take a look at uh, the detailed action. So for example, within the Discord bot, basically whenever I type a question, all three of them, three of them will be able to query the Google API and uh, return the answers. All right, so let's uh, look at the process management. Let's uh, take a look at uh, the PM2 monitoring. On my console, I type PM2 list. It will show me all the running tasks. So as you can see, I had uh, three of them. One is the first one is Python. Bot. The second one is Node.js. The third one is Golem. I think we can, obviously, we can do a quicker comparison. We can see if you look at the far right side, the memory. So I have three of them. The largest one is the Node.js, 72.6. Second one is uh, second largest, 60.2 for the Python bot. The least uh, memory used, 18.9 for Golem bot. Well, I think uh, hands down, we know that Golem wins this, right? So, so I think that's about uh, three times larger for Python and more than three times for Node.js. What about the performance? Let's uh, take a look. We can see, let's go to the Discord uh, channel to talk to the bot. We can type any question. So, 10 random question words. Okay, we, we got it. So Golem, the fastest to reply, generated a 10. Python, second, 
generate another temp and a node JS another temp. So it, it seems uh, it's correlated uh, to the amount of the RAM. So if uh, the least uh, RAM used the fastest to response, the largest RAM used the slowest to response. So so let's uh, do it another trial. Generate uh, fifteen. Okay, so similarly we have Golem fifteen, Python fifteen, and the last one to respond is Node.js. Well, I think Golem uses the least amount of resource, but responding the farthest. Well, I think uh, why this is uh, significant. So because, uh, for example, those many uh, virtual server, they charge you by the amount of uh, RAM, right? So if you have like a one gigabyte or two gigabytes RAM, two gigabytes RAM will cost uh, more. And uh, if you have a limited number of RAM, you would want to use uh, the language which uses the least amount of RAM. I think that's uh, the significant uh, points I want want to make. So I think uh, uh, obviously it's, it's not a very scientific uh, comparison, but uh, for this simple usage, for example, if you want to create some Discord bot, if you have limited resource, then I highly recommend that you to use the Golem to program it. I think uh, it allows you to best utilize your limited uh, hardware. And uh, not to mention that uh, with the limited hardware, you, you, you had uh, the fastest response rate, right? So I think that's uh, pretty much uh, says it all. Well, so, so if you are interested in learning more, I will include a link to my Medium article. Feel free to read it more about it. In addition, I also have my Discord server. So there are quite a many AI bots there you can try. I think you, if you have any question about my video, feel free to ask there. And if you have any suggestion, feel free to bring it up too. Thank you very much. See you next time. Goodbye.